Hey everyone, we have a spicy topic today. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Dr. Sabrina Solt. This is my husband, Zach. Hi. And today we're going to talk about various ways that carnivore can actually help your sex life. If you don't want to have better sex, just turn this off now. Yep. Go my away. My favorite subject. <laughs> we won't be mad at you, but if you're here, stick around because we're going to discuss, I have like a list of about five things. Um, five reasons why going carnivore is going to allow you to have a better sex life. So before we dive in, any comments? No, this is for both men and women. So not yes, I, that's important. This is for both men and women because while our parts <clears throat> might be different, the general health of surrounding arousal, intercourse, orgasm, libido are all very similar across the sexes. So mm -hmm. this is this applies to everybody. So. Okay. First thing we're going to talk about is hormones. Yes. Now, <clears throat> carnivore diet being very high in healthy saturated fat, good amounts of cholesterol, this is important because the one thing that makes all of your sex hormones, so your testosterone, your estrogen, your progesterone, all of those, is actually cholesterol. That's right. So if you've ever been put on a cholesterol lowering medication, you might have noticed a drop off in your sex drive sexual... goes down goes way yep. down, your performance can go down um, for both men and women. Now, getting back onto this diet allows your body to actually have the initial ingredient, the initial substrate to actually go ahead and produce all of those hormones. So it works really, really, really well, especially even some women who have um, entered menopause will sometimes get their periods back, sometimes even get pregnant. Um, so it can be really, really profound. So um, if that's you and you've entered menopause recently, or maybe you entered menopause early, we call this premature ovarian failure. If that's you and you don't actually want to get pregnant doing this diet, use protection. Yeah. Uh, the other part of uh, the lack of plant toxins a lot of a lot of the uh, toxins in plants are like phytoesters. They they mimic mm -hmm. things in the body, so they'll they'll actually cause uh, you know men to get man boobs and you know, women to have you know lower or higher testosterone than they're supposed to. So that that can mess up your sex drive as well. So yeah. cutting out the plants is important for that you know for that purpose alone. Yeah. So carnivore diet can absolutely <clears throat> regulate your hormones in a really really nice way. Um, and you oftentimes don't even have to visit a provider that specializes in hormone replacement therapy because this diet can have such really great results for you. All right, second thing on here is that if you are dealing with any sort of erectile dysfunction, and ladies, this actually applies to you as well. I will call them lady boners, but it's actually the sensation of arousal, right, in a woman. Um, an erection is pretty much just simply the rush of blood flow to your sexual organs. For men, it's obviously quite pronounced when it happens, but it actually happens for women too. Oh, we have a baby waking up, I'm sorry. So for women, this actually happens too. Um, if you've ever paid attention to your genitalia after any sort of sexual encounter, you will notice that things look often engorged or are very, very full. And this has to do with, again, the blood flow going to the area. Now, the carnivore diet can definitely help with, with enhancing blood flow because, again, one thing that it does is it actually removes those anti-nutrients, but it also gives you a lot of great amino acids from the meat that will actually help contribute to positive blood flow in your body. I got a baby. He's got the baby now. This is what happens when you have a higher sex drive. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, use protection if you don't want a baby. Do the responsible mm -hmm. thing. Um, so that being said, again, erections for both men and women will get better on this diet because of the enhanced ability for your blood flow to happen. Um, the next thing that's a result of the blood flow, and this is mainly for women, but it's actually better lubrication. So women, you might not know this, but your natural lubrication is actually what we call an ultra filtrate of your blood's plasma. So what does that mean? Well, it means when those tissues get full of blood, some blood will actually pass through the mucous membrane, but just the plasma part of it, because again, it's that clear kind of um, very smooth feeling sort of lubrication that you end up with. Again, it comes right from your blood plasma. You get more of that happening, again, due to that enhanced blood flow from the dietary changes that you've made. It works really, really, really well. The next thing on here that can actually make your sex life a lot better. But I was going to oh, go ahead. Comment, so Female lubrication is better for both men and women. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes, that should go with us. Yes. Yeah, but I'm just saying, well, I mean, some people don't think about it. They're like, oh, that only helps women. That doesn't help me. It does help you because it makes things lubricated. Things, lubricated. It, things go smoothly. <laughs> things go smoothly. <laughs> 
Oh, this is a fun topic, isn't it? <laughs> okay, the next one, and this is kind of like an inadvertent thing, but we're just gonna put it out there. Losing weight helps you have better sex. You can get closer to each other's bodies, so ideally more penetration, more skin-to-skin -skin contact. And for men, when you lose what we'll call the fupa, the fatty upper pelvic area, your penis will actually end up being bigger. Um, sometimes we see a lot of men who claim that their penis has shrunk over time, but it's actually that their stomach has grown. And there can be more of a fatty deposition at the base of the penis, um, which again causes it to somehow look like it's shrunk. It's not the case, um, it's actually, it will come back with some weight loss. And again, this is also better too, because when you start losing that weight, you can be a little bit more mobile, a little bit more active in the bedroom, if that was something that you were interested in doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Takes more stamina too. More stamina, yeah. Uh, basically, you can you can perform better, and I know you know for men that's usually seen as you know at the height of their list is that they want the best performance that they can. Of course, I'm sure a lot of women do care about this as well too. But you basically want to be able to keep up with the demands of having sex because we know that it is a very active thing that you're doing. At least one partner at all times is doing something <laughs> active. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else about? that aspect no, it's like loss. you also when you the weight loss you feel sexier you feel more attractive yeah so that yes that plays a part so there's a mental component to that yeah we all we've all i think <laughs> been there where we've you know put on some muscle or lost some weight where we just feel better in our own skin and when you feel better it kind of exudes to everybody else around you it shows up in how you present yourself in, in your relationships so that could definitely be a contributor as well as just the greater confidence that comes with that. So, and the carnivore diet will definitely get you there with that weight loss. It's, it's super, super rare for somebody to not experience weight loss on this diet, just simply by virtue of changing what you're eating and removing all the toxins that you were consuming that, previously. That does look different for certain people. I, I have seen a lot of people, and for me, I initially gained weight and then mm -hmm. lost the weight. And I think the initial weight gain on the carnivore diet is, is for people who specifically really have a lot to heal. Um, if, if your body is one that has taken a beating over years or women, if you have many years of yo-yo dieting, so losing the same 10 to 20 or 30 pounds over and over again for many, many years, uh, you are likely going to gain weight first simply because your body wants to have that excess uh, energy store available for all the healing that it needs to do. Do not worry about it. Sometimes, again, some of that can be healthy weight gain, especially if you are doing it with this diet and you're doing um, clean carnivore, we'll call it. You know how people used to have dirty keto and clean keto? Um, we'll call it clean carnivore because, of course, if you are somebody who, for example, is intolerant to dairy and your carnivore diet is mainly consisting of cheese, heavy cream, and like milkshakes, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Yeah, it's, it, you, it's harder to gain, to lose weight when you're eating dairy. Dairy makes it really hard to lose weight. Even if you tolerate it really well, it can still just make you hold on to some weight. So, again, because dairy's purpose for baby cows in nature is for baby cows to grow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The last thing on our list and why it's going to improve your sex life is that you are going to have more energy and, ladies, you're going to have less headaches. Just by virtue of the, uh, of the diet, how it eliminates all the toxins from your body, you literally cannot help but have energy that lasts all day. You certainly don't just get random symptoms like a random stomach ache or random joint pain or random headaches. All of that goes away. Yeah. Ergo, the excuses to not partake in sexual activity also go away with it. So <laughs> again, if you don't want a better sex life, you should probably still keep eating plants. All of the plants. <laughs> just go vegan. Vegan. If you want a shitty sex life, go vegan. I should put that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you want a shitty sex life, go vegan. You heard it here first. <laughs> the vegans are going to get mad, but you know what? They don't have the stamina or the energy to keep up with being mad at me, so That's it's true. fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. People talk a lot of trash on the internet. Nobody would say that shit to my face. Absolutely not. This is true. This is very true. It doesn't happen. What other things can we talk about about sex? Oh, here's another thing that I want to mention. We eat oysters every single Friday. <clears throat> oysters, animal food, those are actually one of the best foods that you can get for enhancing um, just overall sexual function. So for women, you actually might notice that your breasts 
grow and plump in a very, very nice way. Um, and this because it has to do with the mineral concentrations in oysters and how they are in the correct ratios to actually re-establish puberty <clears throat> if you don't feel like you've quite finished it. Um, this is actually something that, you, that happens really frequently in women where they feel like they underdeveloped and like oysters can actually kind of redo your whole puberty part so you can actually get those nice plump breasts. Um, this is also really important for women who have had breasts post breastfeeding like I have. Um, they will come up and then the nipples will come out nicely and this is maybe TMI for some people that are watching but for those of you that it's important to, oysters, they're so important. Yeah. Get some oysters in. We do uh, the dollar oysters every Friday at Whole Foods. All, all, every Whole Foods I've ever been to, they've had dollar yep. oysters on Friday. We, we have to buy 12, but 12 oysters for 12 bucks. We, Such a good we, deal. We always get 24 every Friday. She's, you know, I do 12, she does 12. Yep, and they're um, just a really yeah. great addition to your to your regimen if that's something that you have available to you. Um, what else? What other notes can we make about sex and carnivore? I have lots of it. <laughs> yes, that's the other thing too. If you have not been having intercourse to any meaningful degree for a very, very long period of time, it's because something is wrong. And sometimes it's like a muscle that we forget to work out and you actually forget what it's like to even have a healthy libido, even if all the things are correct. So if your hormone levels are good, you've lost all the weight, you have really great energy, lubrication's working well, sometimes you just have to bring yourself to it and just do the thing and like a muscle that you work out you will get back into the swing of things and then your libido will eventually come back online like you will actually just you know want to go seek it out because truthfully humans are just fancy animals we have all the same drives as animals do we have drives to find food we have drives to you know do the other f word that we're talking about here um, but those are all innate drives within us and if those aren't working it's because your health is likely not supporting that so this is where the, again the carnivore diet comes in because it is the single best thing that you can do to actually just re-establish your health i agree with that awesome i think that's it cool short video today anyway i'm sure this probably brought up a lot of questions for people um Sex is both a taboo topic and also a really fun topic because, listen, we should we should be able to talk about it openly. And unfortunately, the interwebs likes to censor this stuff. Um, but it's important. Like this, sexual health has such a big um, impact on your overall health, and they they mimic each other, right? So like if if something's not working in one area, it's likely a reflection of things not working in another area. So you have to look at these things holistically and not talking about it just because it's quote unquote taboo um, is really silly. Oh, you know what? We just, I'm gonna mention this just because I have to. Women, men, everybody out there, when you start eating a carn carnivore diet, you're going to smell different. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna smell different. And listen, everybody's got a scent to them. And again, this is the topic of sex. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the aroma is just gonna change and from what I've researched, the way that I understand it is it has to do with the different compositions of amino acids that are going through your blood at any given time because of the meat-based products that you're consuming. Um, again, your lubrication, the things that happen in your body, those are, all, again, all ultra-filtrates of blood plasma, meaning those things can actually go across those mucous membranes, and when those compounds come across, there are certain amino acid compounds that are what we call aromatic, those will produce the change in the odor that you are experiencing, and it will almost smell a little meaty, um, which again, not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. It just means that that's what's happening in your body. And this can be in almost any part of your body. It can be in your, on your underarms. It can be in your private areas. It can be anywhere. There just might be a different smell. So if that is something that you're dealing with, it's not abnormal it's not uncommon it's just different because your physiology is different than what it was before are you wrong with that mm -hmm. okay if both you and your partner are doing carnivore it's not a big deal <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but just something to notice and i don't ever see anybody talking about this mm -mm. i've like never seen anybody mention that but it happens so all right guys cool talk to you soon talk to you next time bye, bye.